guys, Miss Daisy here, and today we're gonna be doing a super cute, fun, and easy DIY for the Christmas season. I am doing a nutcracker, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this nutcracker inside, and we're gonna make it look kind of like this, but it's going to be painted pink according to my room, and these are the colors I'll be using. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off this thing, um, this DIY is all from the Dollar Tree. I had paints from home, and then I got this vase, um, just to, like for for plants or any flowers, and it was at the Dollar Tree. And then this Nutcracker in the Christmas section. And then I have no idea where this was from, but the lid is um, 50 cents at the Dollar Tree which I don't know what, what it went to, but it was perfect and it fit this vase for my nutcracker. And so yeah, let's get started into this video. And okay, so I actually cut off the goatee to where I can hot glue it back on once I'm done painting. So that's to the side. And then I just found out that his crown came off. And because I don't want his hair to get dirty, oh my god, look at this funny hair. Looks like Einstein hair. <laughs> I have a clip that I use for my hair, and we're just gonna we're gonna give him a little ponytail, just so we don't get this hair all dirty. That's true. Okay, there we go. His hair is already with the clip, and then I put some painters tape on his legs, and then. I Okay, so I have this cardboard cutout, and I have these little pearl beads that I'm going to hot glue on the edge of this cutout, and I'm going to be spray painting it white, which is really cool, so it looks like it came with the cutout. So, let's do it! So I have already some glued onto the side of the cardboard cutout and I'm going to keep adding them until I am done and there's beads, pearls all over the edge of this cardboard cutout. So I added a finger between each bead so they weren't too close or too far so I was just putting a finger between each bead and making sure they were exactly a finger apart. After a while, it did get kind of hard to put my finger between each bead because I was halfway done and I ended up using a marker instead and in adding the hot glue onto the bead and adding the bead onto the marker spot. Okay. 
Okay, so we're all done with that. I ended up taking out the cardboard pieces inside that was stuck to the red and white twine. That way I wouldn't have that twine inside of my project because it really didn't go. Okay, I'm just about done here. It was a little bit crooked. One was of the beads were higher than the other, but it's okay, we could fix that. But other than that, it was great. Okay, it's the next day and I painted it earlier this morning and now I'm just taking off the painter's tape off of my nutcracker. That way it didn't get the colors mixed up and stuff. And we're just taking them off slowly, that way the paint does not peel off. There was some spots of the original paint that I had to go over without tape because it was not letting me get into those cracks that needed to be painted. Then I took out the clip out of his hair, that way his hair could get back to where it needed to be. The crown is all dry and now it's time to put it back on his head where it belongs. There was some spots that ended up getting paint where there wasn't supposed to get paint, so I'm going to use nail polish remover and a super skinny brush tip to remove all those spots I did not want. Like right here on whatever he's holding, I did not mean for that paint to get on there, so I'm just scrubbing it so it can come off. Oh my gosh, it came out so cute. I love it. I love the way it turned out and the paint came off of whatever he was holding, which is great. Okay, so now we're going to add some hot glue onto his head and put this crown back on where it belongs. Tried taking off the hat and it wasn't coming off, which is great. And then I was making sure that the goatee was where I placed it and I'm going to hot glue it back on to where it belongs. So I stole these rhinestones from my mom <laughs> and I was seeing which one she had so I can add them onto my nutcracker. I found this sticky bow and I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue onto it and I am sticking it onto his belt so it looks like it came with it. It's super cute! I love it! I realized that the goatee was a little too long so I cut some of his goatee off just so you could see the bow because it was covering the bow on the belt. So, snip snip. Okay, I am almost done adding these pearls onto his crown. And it is turning out super cute.
Okay, I was placing the nutcracker where I wanted it, and then I am now putting on hot glue to glue it onto that cardboard cutout. Okay, now I'm gluing the glass onto the white cardboard cutout that I spray painted and I'm actually so surprised on how it came out. I love it. Okay, it's completely glued onto the cardboard and it is inside. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys like this DIY. Bye!